Hi, I'm Nabil Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can rig whatever character that you have in Blender and import it in Unreal Engine 5 and retarget it. But retargeting is another video, but just rigging and how rigging work in Blender and how it work in Unreal Engine 5 because those are different. They just showing you different bones. <laughs> it's different, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. Before we start, I want to thank my Patreon supporter and I want to say, please, 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 if you want to help me and you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. So we are in Blender and Unreal Engine 5 and I want to just test something out for you. In here, I want to create tree block. So I say add a mesh, a cube, right? Hit S to scale it down. Hit S after that Z to scale it down on Z axis like this. Hit one on your numpad and hit G and after that Z to bring it up. It's just some simple things in uh, in Blender, right? I want to create three of these. Control V to duplicate it. Hit Z on your keyboard, bring it up like this again hit shift d to duplicate it hit z after that to bring it up and we have three of them in here right three q and i want to select all of them hit ctrl g on my keyboard so it will create just one and i want to call it bikes okay or whatever you want to call it right so we have these three in here and we want to rig it right so we start from this simple object to rig it and after that i will show you how you can rig a character for unreal engine in here i want to hit one so i can see it in this way and after that i want to go to add on go add an armature so first thing to do know that this armature is created for us click on it and go to here click on this boy here object data property it's called this right and after that go to viewport display and after that click in front so you can see your bone in here okay so first thing to do you should rename this armature to root okay if you don't do this you can't export it to unreal engine 5 it, it will give you an error right if you expand this you can see there is a pose in here and there is armature in here this armature doesn't it's not important just the important thing is this naming that is that should be root and after that this bone okay so for example i'm going to click on this root and go to edit mode and scale this root up like this hit g and after that z to bring it up like this you should scale it down a little bit hit g after that z so we want this bone to control this part of our object right and I want to call this bone 01. Okay. And we are in edit mode. You can see this bone has an, a start and it has an end and it has a body. And, but in Unreal Engine, it's not this case, right? So the Unreal Engine, what's important for Unreal Engine 5 is just this start bone, right? So there is a root bone that is 000, and there is bone 1 that is again this start point, not this end point. Okay. So that is the difference between Blender and Unreal Engine. Maya is like more like Unreal Engine, but the Blender, this is a start, this is a stop of our bone one. But in Unreal Engine, the 000 is this root bone, and after that, this bone one is like 000 because Unreal Engine just see the start point of this bone. So it doesn't matter if you rotate it like this and put it in here, okay? If you put it like this, for example, you know that the start point is important for Unreal Engine. So it will create a bone from the root that is 000 to this start point. So the end point doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just control Z to bring it back. But for for presentation in Blender and for animating our object in Blender, it's important to draw it like this. But you should know, I can't say it enough, that the Unreal Engine just care about this start point and just the hierarchy, okay? So the, this bone is child of this root, right? So let's just create another bone. Click on a stop point, this end point, not the body, not the start point. Click on the end point. Hit E on your keyboard to create another bone in child of that bone, okay? Bone number zero, the bone number one, right? Hit Z to bring it up like this. Again, hit click on this and let's just click on it and change its name to bone number two. So again, it's very important for you to understand that Unreal Engine just care about the start points. From root to a start point of bone one will be bone one. 
from the end point of bone one to a start point of bone two will be bone two okay we will see it in angle angle let's just create another bone head e to extrude head z to bring it up on z axis and now we have our bones right everything is cool and now we should attach it to our mesh right now it's not attached to our mesh so let's just go to object mode first of all click on your mesh and after that hold shift and select on your bone Control p and tell it to set the parent to to the mesh that we selected with automatic weights click on it and now you can see the box is the child of root as well okay and we have our bones but you may say that in Arial engine should be exactly look like this but no let me show you first of all i want to click on the root and go to pose mode to show you in here how you can create some pose right so click on this bone head r to rotate it okay you can see when we rotate it the cubes are rotating with them okay head r and you can see we can create some pose with it i don't want to do that i want to do it in unreal engine as well and i want to clear this stuff with unreal engine right so now we have our three box in here and we have our bones and we connect our bones to our mesh right everything is cool now let's just go to pipeline export send to unreal engine and it says you don't have any object on under the export collection so for using this pipeline if you don't know about this pipeline in last video i did talk about it how you can easily export something from blender to unreal engine 5 and this was for pipeline i did talk about it so in here first of all just go pipeline utility create predefined collection and it will create this export collection now we should select our root and box in here and put it on our export collection in here so whatever in export collection this pipeline export sent to unreal we will send it to unreal okay let's just go to unreal real and you can see it give us the uh, skeletal mesh physical asset and or a skeleton okay the important one is this skeleton okay and you can see it at the root bone one bone two and bone three and if you go to character and click on bone all the hierarchy you can see it's just showing you two bone but it's not showing you two bone it there is three bone in here with the root right so the root the root is zero 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 location the bone one is from the root position to a start of the um, bone one we did talk about it in here okay so this that we called bone one the start point of that is important for unreal engine 5 okay and let me show you with an example in here so for example in here i want to go to edit mode and change the select the start point in here head g and after that z to bring it up so no you know that the start point of the bone is important for unreal engine 5 right so the bone one will be the root from root to a start point of bone one and now if we export this to unreal let's just close this and again open it now you can see the bone one is starting from root that is zero 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 to that location that the start point location okay let me open both of them and you can see the start location is in here and the, the root is in here so the bone one won't be this and it will be from root to a start point of this bone one and you can see it in here okay so that's important tip that you should know and in here let me again Control z to bring it back at the right place and that's it let's just again export it to Arial. And now you can see the bone one is just this, okay? And you may think that it's not correct. It's correct, but it's another way of showing bones. And it works in both of Unreal and Blender the same. So let me again open both of them. And in here, I want to click on root and go to pose mode. And in here, we already in pose mode. So for example, if I click on this bone one and hit R to rotate it, you can see we can rotate it like this. And again in here, if we click in here and try to rotate it it exactly will rotate like this so again in here we click on bone number two in here and we want to rotate it like this okay and in here bone number two we want to rotate it like this okay exactly the same right so the bone number three we want to rotate it this way and in here if you click on bone number three if you want to rotate it it feel exactly look like the same just the presentation and visibility of these bones different is different from blender to unreal engine 5 and it doesn't matter right so if you eager to have that last bone the, the representation of this bone you know that the bones are working like each other in blender and unreal everything is cool right so in here i did reset the 
composed of these bones and i want to show you know how you can export it like we have it exactly in here right so for that go to pipeline go to export setting dialog in here go to export and in armature just check these add leaf bone and after that you can send it to let me again bring it up i don't know why it's going away so in here check this add leaf bone and send to unreal and that's all you need to do and now if you go to unreal you can see we have all of those bones but this last bones that is called bone tree and it won't do nothing for us okay it won't do anything it's just for representation you just should select these bones for example this bone tree and rotate it it's just for representation it will automatically that add this end bone so you can have a representation of that right so that was it guys for this video in the next video i will show you how you can rig a character in blender and how you can use all of those animations that is already in unreal engine 5 and how you can use any animation no matter what in internet that you find uh, to use it with your own character the character that you design and or the character that you freely downloaded right and after that we will talk about how you can create your own animation and add it to unreal engine 5 so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for watching it's my honor to have you here please 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 if you want to help me hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you very much for watching bye